Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, have you seen recently a lot of social media adverts from all citizens talking about their boxers with their paradise pouch? Yes, I've seen them and I was wondering, is it worth the money? So I thought I'd pick up a pair so that you can decide whether they're worth the money or not. Don't worry. I'm not going to put these on, I will just hold them. You are not going to see little Randy at all and his mini Morelanders. You're just going to see me holding these. So I thought I'd break this down into three sections because I was trying to work out as far as boxes, as far as trunks go, what are the things that I look for in a pair of pants or underpants or underwear so I thought I'd break it down into three sections so we're gonna have first one is gonna be um, the actual material that they're made from the second one will be um, you know the quality or the fit of them and then the last one will be the paradise pocket paradise pocket never thought I'd be saying that here on the YouTubes so first one the actual material that they're made from so I've checked on the website, these are made from an eco-friendly microfiber material. It feels like a nice blend um, of kind of cotton or cotton kind of polyester. They're very light, they're also quite firm as well. The fit on these, or at least the material that they're made from, definitely feels like good quality material. And I will say this about them, you've got these which I think these were 17 pounds for one pair or you could go to Asda, Tesco, Walmart, Target, wherever and pick up say five pairs for 10 pounds, five pairs for 15 dollars. The quality of the material on these is definitely a higher standard than those kind of pants that you can pick up from a grocery store that's definitely better than that what it also has is so this through this back section here these are clean by the way I haven't had these on today or at least I haven't had them on since I've cleaned them <laughs> um, sorry where was that so you have this air mesh section here through the back hopefully if I can get this in the light the the main back the main front all has this eco microfiber material but there is a section here through the back which I guess is designed to let in a little bit of air through the top of the buttocks to keep your top of your buttocks drier maybe it's there just so that if you fart it will let it out a little bit easier through the top you also have um, the same um, air mesh material here through the gusset which again is nice. Uh, I've done a couple of long walks with these. What I've found is that the hair around your gooch has a habit of going into these holes and being plucked out. It was a novel and interesting experience, but it is something that I need to report on. The material on the waistband possibly is the best. Now I'm not saying that the, the, the material, the main material is, is bad. The material on the waistband is really nice. It's got just enough stretch but just enough uh, toughness to, to keep them up. Um, they do say that these are anti-ride and what they have is they just have an extra little bit of elastic around each of the bottom of the leg cuffs. It does stop them from riding up, they're very good for that. On the walks you don't get that kind of feel where you just have to take that weird step to the side and adjust that because so, you feel like you're wearing a nappy. Um, so it does stop them from riding up, however because they've got this extra little bit of elastic in here, it just hugs your leg a little bit more. You know when you take your sock off and at the top of your sock you've got that ring around your leg because the, the elastic on your sock is designed for people with pigeons, ankles? Um, well you get that with this, so you'll take them off and find you've got a little bit of a weird ring around your leg like you've been wearing suspenders. Um, I wouldn't know what it's like to wear suspenders, but I imagine if I were to... Okay, well, let's move on. Um, I forgot, I'm stuck on suspenders now. Where am I going? So, 
the actual fit with these they they do come in a few different fits uh, these there are boxers versions which are just a little bit shorter it be between your gooch and the, the, the cuff um, and then there are the trunks so these are the trunks versions where that inseam is a little bit longer um, and with the trunks you then have two trunks you can either have the um, sorry, I'm just checking my notes. You have either the standard or you have the athletic. So these are the athletic. And the athletic really just means if you've got thicker thighs, then there's just a little bit more room in there. But I will still say, you know, when you take them off, you, you get that weird little line. So the material, the quality of the material is, I would say, far better and far superior to a lot of those pants, underwear, boxers that you can get from... Yeah, Target, Walmart, Tesco, Asda, wherever it is that you're going. Now, the actual fit to them is also very nice. So, um, it conforms around the areas that you'd want it to. They do ride a little lower though. So, as far as, as, far as around the legs are concerned, they're a great fit. As I say, they do pinch. I wouldn't say pinch, they hug your leg. Whereas at the top, I would definitely say that they ride a little bit lower. I generally find with my underwear, it's nice to have it as it is now. So it's, it's just there where my waistband is. That really helps so that if my uh, waistband, or at least my belt, is digging into me, I can, you know, it just stops that. It stops some of the wear. I will say with these, they do sit either just below your waistband or below your waistband depending on you know how high your trousers are um, not uncomfortable but I think with trousers with um, with a large zip especially if you're sat all day um, it, it maybe it's just me I've got that kind of belly fupa kind of thing it just it rolls over ever so slightly because of my athletic dad bod physique but anyway um, so yes, it, they do just sit a little bit lower than some other pants. So they're the first two sections. The main selling point for these is this pouch on the inside. I, I, mean, I mean, that just looks wrong, me doing that, doesn't it? I have to look at it in there, but you can just open that slightly and look within. Um, so this is the Paradise pouch. Pocket, no, Paradise Pocket, penis pouch, Par no, it's the Paradise Pocket. They must have sat for several days, Try can we call this the cockpit? No, we shouldn't call it. How about the cushioned cock cave? No, no, let's not call it that. What shall we call it? Paradise Pocket. Anyway, so this Paradise Pocket is made with the same air mesh material as the bottom that also strips the hair from your gooch when you're walking around a lot. It does the same around the testicular zone, should you te want to move around a lot as well. It goes in there and just kind of sits. There is a little hole here at the bottom, which should you need to push something through that hole, then that's great and good on you. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the idea is that you put Harry and the Hendersons within this small pouch and it keeps it away from your legs when it's a hot day. Now, I would say, and quote me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, 80% of us probably dress to the left. And that's an anatomy and physiology thing, because one testicle generally is larger than the other and it just folds over that way. What this wants to do is keep Percy sitting over the... You know, it, it wants to keep a forward orientation, which is strange. A lot of the influences that you see, oh, these are amazing. They are, they are different. They are different. The, also, the idea is, as well, that you have this little uh, opening that splays open, and you put your pan you pull them up, and magically, the giggle stick and laughing cherries just, you know, it just dives in. But, and I was trying to think of an analogy with this. If you want to try this out, get yourself a sock. This should be fun, especially if your wife walks in. Hold the sock just like that and try and put your family jewels into the sock like that. It's not gonna work, is it? It just, it just doesn't work like that. 
you have to open the sock and, you know, cup it in. Imagine, you know, you have to, you have to get it like a chin strap, you have to get it round. That's the strange thing with this. It's not just a case of pull it up, boop, off you go. You have to pull it up, kind of get both hands in, get that weird little strap thing, pull it round, get it all in, have a bit of a wiggle, and then, you know, you're good for the day. Very strange to do. If you're at the gym and fellas are watching, it's just a strange situation to be in. Now, on an ideal day, what would happen is that your little man and his two buddies, the Mitchell brothers, would just stay in there all day. If you're walking around, it's great. It does. It just stays in there all day, the vast majority of the day. If you squat, you're probably going to find that the jewels come out and the other bit just kind of just stays in there, like nestled, just kind of waiting for its friends to come back. You go to the gym, it just doesn't stay in there, it really doesn't. Walking around a lot during the day, if you're out adventuring, if you're out climbing through things, it just doesn't stay in there. Um, it's a simple fact, it doesn't. I would say I'm a, an average kind of guy. It just, doesn't it just doesn't stay in. What you also have to do is that little bit that, let's get back, where are we? So this bit here, the bottom bit, kind of cups your love marbles and they, it, it kind of sits behind there, like a chin, like a chin strap. It just kind of sits underneath your chin. The, 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 the what's it on the edge of this is really nice, but you do find that it just wants to lift them up. It just, it just wants to, just, just kind of that. So when you sit down, it kind of moves them forward. Because of this, it pulls them forward. Probably talking a little bit too much about this. The other thing on here is, so does this work 90% of the time unless you're stood up? No. It's nice, but it doesn't particularly work well. On the inside, a lot of boxes have that little gate where you when you go to the toilet, you, you kind of move it that way and then you move it around and you've got a little, a little chicane to get it out. The way that this one works is, on the inside there's a flap that goes down to about here, so you have to pull it under and pull it over the top of this bit. Unfortunately, that motion, I would say, hinders the stream, if that makes sense. The chicane left and right doesn't hinder a stream, whereas this does. The other thing that I will only talk about ever so quickly is the fact that what you have is, you have this square pocket that your little man is in. Now if we're at an in in unfortunate incident, or inappropriate incident, where we are, let's say, happy about life, you now have this small box. You have a little caged badger, a little caged ferret that is wanting to be active in a very small box. And that is strange, because there's nothing you can do with it. You can't take it out and tuck it into your waistband. You can't tuck it, out, tuck it down one leg. You can't put it down the other leg. It's just there, like a caged badger. Caged badger. That's what I'm gonna call him from now on, the badger. How's the badger doing? Yeah, he's good. Materials. Excellent. I can't rate these high enough on materials. Fit and finish, excellent. I really can't rate these high enough for that. They're actually very enjoyable to wear if you just wear them, which is point three, with this paradise pocket. No, it's not paradise pocket. What is it? Is it paradise? Pa paradise, no, pleasure pouch. Anyway, it just, it just doesn't work. It works for some of the time. Generally, I'll slip the little man in in the morning and if he falls out through the day I just don't care because I've had more looks readjusting myself wearing these on a day out than I have had on a normal day when people are like why are you adjusting yourself so much? Would I buy another pair of these? Through this you're probably thinking no I've actually bought a second pair mainly because the material is really nice and the the fit and finish of them is really nice 
I'm not going to use the uh, pleasure pouch. What the f is I'm not going to use the paradise pocket. Um, but they do do an elongated version. So the length between the gooch and the cuff here is even longer and they're the other pair that I've picked up mainly for days when I am out walking and I just want something there just to give the insides of my thighs a little bit more love and tender care. So that's why I've picked up a second pair. My original point is that you can pick these up. I think these are $17.99 here in the UK and you can go to Asda and pick up five pairs for 12 quid. I'm gonna stick with my five pairs for 12 quid and just keep these as a novelty. Um, they, it's weird, it is weird. They are very nice pants, but if you're paying 17 pounds for this passion pocket, then I don't think you're gonna enjoy that pocket of passion as much as you were expecting it to do. So there you go. I hope that made sense. I probably waffled quite a lot, but I thought um, I would test these out and see if they are worth the money that they are. They kind of are. There's no real way, way I can say that. I'll leave some links below. I'm not affiliated, I think with the feedback that I've given you from these, you can probably tell that I'm not affiliated with these. I'll leave some links below if you want to see some and you want to pick some up. Uh, I'll leave some of my social media links below as well. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay more in there and stay EDC in your little paradise pouch. Pleasure pouch. Eufor ooh, euf euphoria, I don't know. Uh, seen a bit. To leave my notes on the floor. This is not something that I'm used to talking about. Of all days, I often get embarrassed when people walk past, especially when I'm talking to a camera in the middle of the woods. People know them all and they're like, oh. Morland out, Morland is out filming. All right, Morland, how's it going, fella? <sighs> I, just, I just still get embarrassed. It's just, yeah, it's just one of those things. This one piece is the one that I hope nobody walks past while I'm talking about my grots. That would be weird. Watching them. Well, I thought I'd get a pair so you can get my take on them. No, I'm gonna have to do that bit again. Par what's it, what the f is it called? Paradise, paradise, paradise pocket. What the f is a paradise pocket? Pocket pleasure, pleasure, pow, pleasure, pleasure. It's not pleasure, pleasure, pleasure pocket. Po paradise, paradise pocket. What would you call it? Let's hear in the comments below. Let, I mean, we're, we're not in the full content now. What would you call it? Your Todger hole your rabbit's warren oh, that sounded weird here's another point and i've tried not to mention it in this one fellas let's stop calling our love muscle it's not even a muscle but anyway let's stop calling it a junk if you were a woman you wouldn't walk around going oh check out my flaps or i mean i know some women that do do that but they're well wouldn't necessarily call, class them as women uh, but anyway you know they call it their they call it their flower or they call it their their uh tuppence no i, I know some people call it tuppence they call it the rose or they call it the lady garden which sounds beautiful and it, embrace the vagina because it's a it's a beautiful thing stop calling it a junk because junk makes it sound like and it's not, let's stop putting ourselves down. Let's call it our... I went straight for, I went straight for meat sword, but that's probably, it doesn't sound as good, does it? Let's hear below, what, what should we call it? Instead of belittling our littleness, what, in, we should call it something beautiful and manly. What, what, what should be a new name instead of junk? Let's hear that in the comments below. I'm probably gonna get demonetized for this anyway. Um, so yes, I hope you all, when shall I put this out? Shall I, shall I put this out today? Okay, yeah, I hope you all are having a great Saturday. Let's put it out today. I swore a lot in this piece of content. I find talking about this very unnerving and I find when I'm unnerved, I swear quite a bit. So I do apologize to everybody that has watched and has been offended by the swearing, kinda. Right, have a good Saturday.